Hi everybody, Brian Tolnar from Mill Creek Metro Parks Golf Course in Boardman, Ohio, and welcome to this week's YSN Golf Tip of the Week. Today we find ourselves in a, in a bit of a situation to where we're off the edge of the green, maybe 15 or 20 feet. We don't have too much green to work with, maybe about five or six yards or so. We really got to get the ball lofted and get it high in the air to make sure that we can get it very, very close. So today we're going to talk about what we call the flop shot. Anytime that you watch the PGA Tour, you see the guys making these full swings by the edge of the green. Very tough shot to hit, but I'm going to walk you through each step of the process. So if you find yourself in this predicament, we're able to get out and give ourselves an opportunity to make a putt. So number one, we're in the heavy rough. And number two, we've got very little green to work with. So as we step into this shot, it's going to be very similar to a bunker shot. We're going to play the ball up in our stance a little bit. We're going to open the club face. Again, we've, we've got the bounce of the club that's going to help us get in the air, but because we're opening it up, it deadens some of the bounce, so we want to make sure that we're making a full swing to get the club from back to front, and that's probably the most important part. Because we're going to catch a lot of this grass between the club face and the ball, it's going to really get to the point where it knocks the ball down. So we want to make sure that we get it up high to where we can hold this green. So our stance is going to be a little bit wider than we're accustomed to using on a, on a pitch or chip shot. We're going to go outside shoulders with, and we're going to move that ball position more towards the front. Margin for error is great in this shot, so you don't have to hit it too many, sh too many times during the round, but every once in a while you'll be forced to do that based on the type of lie and the type of situation that you're in. So I'm going to open the club face up slightly. I'm going to choke down on the club, and our goal is to make sure that we use arms and shoulders, and we really accelerate through and finish up here. Again, it's going to be that full swing, even though that we're this close to the green, that's going to allow us to get the golf ball up into the air and allow it to stop. Goal from this range is really just to get it within about 15, 20 feet or even onto the green. Because the rough is severe and because we don't have that much of green to work with, we just are worried about getting it on the green to give ourselves an opportunity to putt. Every once in a while you hit one of those close, every once in a while you'll knock one of those in, but goal number one is to get yourself out of this poor situation that you find yourself in with very little green to work with and give yourself the opportunity to get it up and down and have a putt at that par or bogey or birdie or vice versa. All right, we've got our setup all down pat. We've got our weight on our front foot. We're ready to hit the shot. Again, this is gonna come in high and it's gonna stop and, and, and check up a little bit if we're lucky. Arms and shoulders back and through. The key is a nice high finish. For more tips like this and any others that you've seen throughout our course of our series, please contact us at Mill Creek Metro Parks, millcreekmetroparks.org, or you can call the Pro Shop at 330-740-7112. And again, I hope you enjoyed this YSN Golf Tip of the Week.